Alrighty, welcome back. We got episode two of Pigot Panic. And uh, before we really start doing anything, I want to uh, make note that I I have emblazoned the ground with our insignia, and uh, I'll I'll touch it up later when I have more materials or whatever. But uh, for now, this is it. <laughs> and uh, it does look a little uh, not so special, but you know, oh well. Oh, actually, I have buckets. Or I have iron, so I can make buckets. I was like, oh, you know, it's unfortunate that I don't have buckets, so I can't grab water, but pfft, I can grab water all I want. Um, okay, I, I could have made those at the same time, I just didn't think that I'd want to, but I do want to. And let's see, we will come over here and go up one, two, or one, two, three, and then, oh. Forgot that I need to be up there for that. Put that there. Dig that out. And there we go. We have a nice little fountain in our home. Yay. Would that look better with the pillar going up to it? I don't know. Anyway, so let's go grab some water so I can hook up that farm. Because I would like to... I don't like melons, but you can make healing potions with them, so that's cool. Um, and... Uh, I mean, not that they're particularly useful healing potions, because they are just uh, instant healing, which doesn't do us a whole lot of good, because um, any time that the only time that I would need instant healing is when I don't have enough, or if I'm about to die and I need to get health fast, but I probably won't have enough time to actually drink the potion, so I'd die anyway, and I don't see how that would be very useful. And um, then... Like, uh, for, uh, yeah. Come on. What was I saying? <laughs> um, alright, and if I do have enough time to drink the potion, then I probably have enough time to just wall myself into a little box and let my health regen anyway. So, I don't know, it just seems like a waste of nether wart to make potions. Which reminds me, I wouldn't be able to make potions now, even if I use the melon because I don't have another wart. Which I'm assuming I won't be getting. Oh, maybe he'll give me some, because that is its only purpose. So, um, he might consider it a a decent, like an okay idea to actually give me some. Um, I will put a little source, or uh, infinite spring over here. Um, just so that I have it, should I need it. Um... Let's see, my farm can just be over here somewhere. I'll go grab those fences from the chest. I did take a bunch of the stuff out of this chest because I just realized uh, in between, I did uh, I did do a little bit of stuff in between last episode and now. I put this fence around in a gate so I could get in, and I sheared some sheep. I didn't shear the brown ones because I want to mate them so I can keep getting more brown wool because wool is or uh, brown dye is incredibly rare. Um, and I did some mining back there, you can't see the entrance from here, um, for stone, because I ran out trying to make this thing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. I wonder if there's a bunch of iron in a chest somewhere down there, but um, I I'm not going to go looking for it now. Uh, mushrooms, I can grow them into big mushrooms, but since I need bowls for that and they, they don't stack, well the bowls stack and the mushrooms stack, but the mushroom soup itself doesn't. So that makes it a little hard to carry around. You can always just carry like a stack of bowls and a stack of each mushroom. And there you've got 64, um, or actually you only nearly need one bowl. Um, but you've got a, you can have a stack of mushroom stew in one, or I mean in three spaces in your inventory. But still that's much more inefficient than cooked pork chops where you can have a stack of them in one uh, slot in your inventory. And what was I here for? Fences? Okay, um, there we go, uh, because I don't want things trampling my crops. And in 1.0.2, I think, the, the second release that they did, um, they, uh, they did make it so that things don't trample your crops anymore, um, but I don't have a fence gate, so I'll just do this. Um but I'm not playing the 
uh, it's, what were they calling it, snapshots. Um, I'm not playing on any of the snapshots right now, so I don't have the ability to uh, let mobs walk on my farmland. Uh, but I'm, you know, eventually I'll get there. And they did make it so that um, in one of the recent snapshots, it was this, or the second snapshot, I don't know if there's another one. There might be, actually. Um, it's the 14th, I'm not sure. But they, uh, the last one had, uh, there was oak trees, the, the generic trees that have been around since Alpha. Um, now drop, ap or the, the leaves, when they break, um, have like a 1 in 200 chance of dropping apples, which is neat, because it actually happens quite frequently. Um, I did play it a little bit, not a lot, and not on camera. But I did, and it was pretty cool. Um, oh, actually, I have glowstone, don't I? Because I, there's a little trick that I do to keep things from falling in the water and light the place up at the same time. But I never have glowstone on me, so let me grab that. And you can walk on farmland with um, by by shifting over it without destroying your crops. But yeah, in a 1.0.2 or whatever you want to call it, um, they made it so that you can walk on crops without trampling them, but if you jump on them, then they'll get destroyed. And mobs no longer trample it, so... There we go. And now when I harvest the wheat, it won't fall into that hole where the water is, and I won't have to jump in and get it. Because climbing out often tramples things, because you have to jump out of the hole, which tramples your crops. Um, I'm just going to sleep real quick to avoid things spawning, because I have had one creeper explosion so far, and it was on the other side of this wall. Uh, it didn't actually destroy any of the wall, which I thought was weird, just a little bit of the dirt, but um, it did break some of the, the these things that are on the wall, on the outside wall, the trapdoors. But that was okay, because they were easily replaceable. Uh, what was I coming back here for? Seeds, right. Did I have some in here, too? I did. And because I don't have any... Um, no, I'll, I'll build a melon farm somewhere else later. Probably off camera. Um, just because, uh, like, I wouldn't have done this on camera, except I didn't realize that uh, I had buckets. So, <laughs> um, when I came in and wanted to, when I mentioned buckets or whatever, I was just like, oh, I have a bucket. So, I went and got all distracted and everything, and, and here we are. So, anyway... Um, let's see, I'll just grab from the infinite spring there, so I have two water buckets with me at all times, just in case. Um, I'll use dirt in this slot for now, bring my shears with me, because I have plenty of iron. Er yeah, it's wrong. There we go. Um, alright, so, now that we've got this skeleton, <laughs> you're not supposed to happen. Neither are you. Why are things spawning here? It shouldn't be light enough under these trees. But apparently it is. So I'll just, uh... Ah! Are there spawners under the ground here? I'm hesitant to dig them up, but, like, there was... Or to dig up the ground, I should say, not them. I did actually look under my house, um, seeing if there were any chests, just because it seemed like an alright place to hide a chest. Because, I mean, if I were making a map like this, I know um, I'd be putting chests in places that people may very well never find, but are nonetheless interesting places to put chests. Like, under the house. Like, I'd probably put it somewhere in the middle just so that it was, you know, uh, if somebody had the idea, they would they could easily find it. They'd just have to have the idea first. You know what I mean? Just give it a little bit of a... Give a little bit of a... A um, little bit of support to the creative... You know, if they've got enough, uh, or if they can figure out to look there, then I'd think they deserve whatever's inside. So, I mean, it wouldn't be anything particularly fancy, but nonetheless. Uh, I'm coming back here because I wanted to get wood so I could make a boat and everything, and we can move on to the uh, other islands now. So I did, that is a pig spawner over there, so I did kill some of the pigs and take their meat. Um, there's plenty more, it's not a problem. But, uh, okay, so 
this has been the first part of this episode, so I now need to pause the recording and start up the second part. So I will be right back. All right. Okay. So, which way should we go, guys? Left or right? All right, let's go right. <laughs> that's that's what you guys wanted, right? Yeah? Yeah? All right. Um, actually, let's look for the closest one first. Let's see, we've got a mixed forest over there. Um, a separate island there. And then a very flat island over there. So let's go to that one. Um, just because it doesn't have a bunch of trees, so it should be the easiest of all of them. Let's just make a boat. I always make two boats just in case. Because uh, way long time ago, I was watching one Let's Player who doesn't do Minecraft anymore, which is unfortunate because I did enjoy watching him. But his his name is X, and uh, as far as I can tell, he was like the first Minecraft Let's Player out of everybody. Everybody was like, oh, you know, I saw X doing it, and I wanted to do it. So, um, you know, he was pretty popular. And uh, that's suspicious looking. And one time he said that, um, you know, there was this bug where you could... Stupid boats! Ugh. You need to fix it so that you can actually, like, consistently stand on them when you get out. Alright, there's nothing down there. Um, let's see, we've got chest! Nether portal! Alright, is that what that is? Nether portal? Over there? Looks like it. Building blocks, medium. Ooh! Um, alright. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. And what is this one? Dystonian Battle Sign Level 2! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> that means we can get our, ba our Battle Sign back. I'll just swap it out for this sign that I have in my inventory now. Fire Aspect? Oh my god! <laughs> um. Okay, there's not enough space in this, inven in this uh, thing here. So, what can I drop? Those get dropped. Alright, so now this is actually a weapon, because it lights things on fire. So I'll keep that in mind. And that is another portal. And there's a chest over there, which I'm assuming has flint steel in it. It might, it may not, though. I mean, it could be. <gasps> Suspicious! Alright, we're good. <laughs> I was just making sure it wasn't a trap. Um, because, you know, that's what I'm expecting here. So, I'm glad I came this way because I want to check out that nether portal. Um, there's... Ooh, that's neat. I'll have to check that out next. Um, I'm going to pause the video and ferry all of this stuff back to the base, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I just noticed another chest up there that we missed when I was, cl when I was climbing the mountain. I don't know how I managed to miss that. I guess I just didn't look off that side. But we need to go get that right now. I cannot forgive that. <laughs> must find everything. And since it's so close, and I don't really feel like actually digging my way up, I'll just pillar up to it, and uh, then just mine my way back down. Oh, oh boy, I thought I fell. What's it say? Building blocks low. Alright. No! No! I don't want to have to make another... Here, take a sign. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so I'll finish getting the stuff back to the chest now. Alright, guys, I put all that stuff away. Um, and we are coming now to the nether portal over here, which, uh. Huh, is that space under there, or is that just. I think it's just a dirt wall. I'll check it out some other time. Because I want to check out that nether portal. And that pile of gravel. Looks oddly suspicious. Don't crash, or break, just stay. Hmm. Suspicious gravel. Suspicious gravel, why are you so suspicious? Nope, nothing special about it. It's just weird gravel. Alright. <laughs> 
Again, I am going to be checking all kinds of random crap just because if there's anything special, I want it. And I did make a flint and steel, but there's plenty here, apparently. Yep. So that was unnecessary. But, uh, oh well, I'll have extras. And, oh look, he made it all fancy. With light and lapis and stuff. I wonder if there's anything underneath it. No, I won't tear up the glowstone. I may tear up the stone, though. Don't worry, I'll make it look nice, if I do. I have the sneaking suspicion that there's going to be something up there and I'm going to miss it. Just on top of this big wall here. There's got to be something back here somewhere, I just don't know where. Because, like, so far, almost every mountain I've seen has had a chest on it. And every weird-looking area that I've seen has had a chest in it. And I don't accept that there is an area that is weird-looking like this and doesn't have a chest in it. I will be checking down that hole uh, once I finish checking up here. And I might check up there, but I might do that off-camera just because, um, <laughs> you know, you know what it looks like when I'm looking for stuff. And nothing. All right. So, let's see, I've got a bunch of stuff taking up space in my inventory. So let's just toss that, toss that, toss that, toss that, toss that, toss that. Alright. Or actually, better yet, I'll put it in this chest. Because I may not want it, but, um, like, gravel can be useful sometimes if you're climbing down a big hole, which actually, you know, Going into the nether, I'm going to take that gravel with me. <laughs> because there can be a lot of times where there's a big drop and you're like, oh no, I can't get down. And then I wish I had brought some gravel with me. Well, here we go. Oop, there we go. That was flint and steel. Ignore that. I hope I don't come out when it's nighttime. I forget if um, time passes in the overworld while you're in the nether. This might have been a bad idea now that I think about it. <laughs> leggy leg? Leggy leg. Leggy leggy leg. Because I don't know what's... This looks like a staircase. It's probably not. Oh, mushroom. Is this just nether? Is there nothing special here? I just assumed it would put me in some pre-made thing. But it could just be nether. So you can get things like nether wart and whatever. Um, thing up here. It's a bunch of fire. Does that count as something special? <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's Pigman. Alright. Nope. Don't walk in fire. Bad for your health, kids. Um, there's some glowstone, some more fire. Yep, looks pretty uninteresting. Well, looks like the nether. Um, I mean, I guess the nether is interesting in its own right, but... Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly special here. Except that looks super suspicious. It's super suspicious day, apparently. Whoa, I just lagged a bit. I was trying to move and it just didn't move. Hmm. Should I go try to get to that? Can I get to that from here? Because if I can, then I'm going for it. Because it looks super suspicious. If I haven't said so already. What's that? That looks suspicious. I think everything looks suspicious. Mostly because it's Vex, and... Whoa! Okay. Um, It still looks suspicious to me. We're going across. Not with gravel. That would be a bad idea. Here we go. If I hear a gas, I'm just going to sprint to the... Uh... Whoa! Oh, jeez, that scared the crap out of me. I just lagged, and I was going backwards, and I thought it would just have me let go of the shift key, and I was like, no. But then it didn't, so it's all good. I don't know why it's lagging so much. I'm going to eat this. Mm. Nope, interesting stuff is up here. It's just that, that big wall looks so suspicious to me. And he may assume that we play on far distance, which would mean you could see this from the nether portal. So, no, it's just a really weird formation. I 
I suppose. Oh, I hear a ghast. And I don't like it, really. Um, get away from me. Stop following me. All right. Um, spend ten minutes, so I'll uh, pause the recording, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Okie dokie. Now let's get off of here, or get out of here, before that ghast shows up and ruins our day. Because I can hear it. I think I can hear it. Maybe it's pigmen? No. Every once in a while I forget the difference between the sounds because, um, you know, it's rare that you get one without the other. Um, so I'll often confuse the, like, small girl sounding squeals as pigmen instead of the ghast. Just because they, um, you know, I don't really know why. Maybe I just assume that they're supposed, since, I mean, the pigmen aren't really the brightest things, so I just kind of associate them with children, apparently, um, just because they kind of wander around and just do whatever, and, um, but, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything particular, particularly important here, so I will leave. I wish there was, like, you know, some sign here to tell me what exactly is going on with this portal, because, you know, I don't. I don't know if there's something that I need from there or, or what, but suspicious tree. No, nope. it's normal. Normal guys, don't worry. <laughs> suspicious tree. The only reason I said that they're suspicious is because that one has a big ring of grass around it, which is really strange. And that one has no grass around it, which is also a little strange. Although I guess some of these don't have grass around them either. Uh, I'm sorry if I if I bother you when I'm skipping about here. I just like to jump when I'm running. I don't really know why. Um, potions. I don't want potions, but I'll check what's inside it anyway. Swiftness, strength, regeneration, healing. Oh, let's grab a potion of swiftness. I've been using these a lot in my Let's Play world, so um, I'm used to using them now, and whee! Um, which is one of the reasons why I really wanted to make the, um, the, did I just hear a pig man? I think I heard a pig man. Which is weird. I know I see a skeleton, but hey, don't shoot at me. You little nub. Whoa. Again, I'm lagging, and I don't like this. That's strange. I don't know why I'm lagging. Um, by all accounts, everything seems normal. Oh, it's night time. Oh, no, did I see a chest over there? No, I didn't. But, uh, it's getting night time, so, um, ah, uh, screw it. It's a challenge map, right? We can do this at night. Um, the whole point is that it's supposed to be hard. Running around with no enemies doesn't really make for a hard map. Of course, the forests are a little dangerous. And much more difficult. I'm... Whoa! Chest. I'm thinking about just burning this forest down, which I'd definitely do off-camera because the frame rate would drop to almost nothing. Um, yeah, I'm scared of being around this giant hole at nighttime, so, yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording and run home, and then come back, and, uh, we'll explore that, that, ca that pit. I may be on the other side of it when I come back, though. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm just on my way back, and I did. I brought a bed with me this time, so we can sleep out here, so I don't need to run back every time, and uh, that should be much more useful. And again, I'm thinking about just burning down this forest, because uh, as it is, it just poses a threat to me. I have plenty of wood back home, and I've got all three types of saplings, so it's not like it, um, it's not like I can't rebuild if I need to. Um... All it's doing is providing shade and uh, spawn places for my enemies. So it looks like it's going down. Oh, but see, I'm worried I'll burn something else down in the process, like something important. Um, okay, I'll run through the forest once, and if there's nothing here after going around for a while, then I'll burn it down. Um, because, yeah, all it's doing really, as far as I can tell, 
is giving places for bad things to spawn in. And that's not cool. By the way, Zestonian Battle Sign is awesome. Um, it's been so useful. Because, like, creepers, they're not fun. And they get close. And that's not cool. But with the Zestonian Battle Sign... Um, suspicious Gravel! <laughs> I hate you, Suspicious Gravel! I need to see what's up there, because I think there's this may go all the way around that little island up there. Um, with the knockback on this stu uh, that was weird. I keep getting these movement glitches, like, I'll be walking along, and then all of a sudden I just get, like, snagged on something, and I'll just sit there and jerk back and forth for a couple seconds until it works out, but, I don't know. Suspicious Gravel! Stop being suspicious. I wonder what happened there, like... Did he make the map, and then it's just a bunch of gravel appeared? <laughs> and fell from the sky? I don't really know. And, oh, oh, cave? Okay, no. Just big hole. Ooh, another chest. Ow. That was a little painful. I think I broke both of my feet right there. More coal. Alright, I'm expecting one of these to be a trap now. Because, like, you know, whoa, that sheep weirded me out. Whoa. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, so that's a little scary. The, uh, the pit extends into a dark area because the ceiling is covered in bedrock. <laughs> Get back. Okay, now you can shoot the creeper. Because they were shooting creepers all over the place back at my base. Blew up the freaking wheat farm. I mean, not the whole thing, just part of it, but still. It's annoying anyway. Um, let's stick some torches down here, because I don't know how big this map is, so... Oh, oh, skeleton shoot at me, and fell in the hole, apparently. I don't know how big this map is, and uh, that looks pretty ominous up there. So the only reason that's light over there is because I have my render distance down, and I can't see the end of it. Stop shooting at me! Um, yeah. So let's let's not go that way right now. Um, maybe sometime soon, but just not right now. Um, first, I'm going to explore all of the not like extremely deadly areas of the map because I feel like I can get once I get a bunch of resources, then I'll be comfortable doing it. Because like, if I can get a bunch of iron, actually, I can get a suit of armor and I'll just be set to go, and I probably won't have much problem with running around in that because, like. Normally on my Let's Play worlds and everything, I just run around in iron armor, no problem, so. No, nope, get back here. I need your insides. Oh, darn. Um, hmm. I don't need leather. Lately I've been, I, maybe it's because I'm playing Terraria. Or that's probably it. Um, because on Terraria, when you want to drop something from your inventory, you just pick it up and hold it over and right-click. But, um, on Minecraft, if you right-click, you only drop one. So, I've just been dropping one thing at a time every time I try to drop something. Until I realize what's going on and then drop it. I'm just going to gather some iron here because, like, I've still got most of a stack at home, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. Grab an extra grab an extra little bit of iron. Um, ooh, iron, iron, sheep. There's a sheep in here. Get out. Get, no, just, okay. I don't think he knows how to get out. So, I guess I can't really blame him for being in there. Alright, so we've got a bunch of iron now. <laughs> That was very useful, thank you, Vex. Um, that'll allow me to make my suit of armor without worrying too much about um, losing any to dying or whatever. Because, you know, obviously if I've got one stack of iron, just making a suit of armor takes up half of that. So, you know, that's a little scary. <laughs> um, yeah, see, I'm... <laughs> I want to burn this forest down, because all I'm seeing here is that there's an extremely deadly place that's just continued forest over there. What's near me? There's a zombie near me. And a creeper! And a creeper! <laughs> no thanks! I didn't... Whoa! Oh, you sneaky! Nope, nope, there we go. Okay, oh, another one. Okay, is there a creeper spawner? And why am I lagging? I mean, it's not really lag, per se, but it's slow down, which is very not helpful. 
This is a big, big area here. Big forest. Okay, why can't I sprint? You know you're lagging when you can't sprint. Because potion's low. Yeah, I don't want potions. So, anything else on this island? Oop. Potions, medium. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. I like his little uh, system for chests and stuff where he just puts a sign on it. Let's you know what it is. I'd much rather it be like glowstone on it so I can actually open the chest while the sign's there so I know what's in the chest, but, um, you know. Oh well. This works just as well. Because every time I walk past one of those chests, I'm going to have to open it, see what's in it, and see if I want any. If I take down the sign. And I have to take down the sign if I want to open it. So, Anyway, uh, i got to go, and I believe this is the third part of this episode. So, um, if it is, then this is the end of the episode. If not, then I'll be back in a couple seconds anyway and tell you that I was wrong. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.